Okay, greetings, greetings, everybody. Welcome back. It is I, Bud Vormuthrax Guy, here to play some more Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. My favorite part, the very beginning of a new challenge. Ah, and a fresh mug of tea ready to go. Um, I guess I don't need to show anything, do I? <laughs> I don't have to recap the, uh, recap the adventure. Because we haven't started it yet. So, I guess we'll just, you know, hang out for a bit. Oh, let's see. As per always, uh, I'm up to date on the most recent experimental build. Actually, I, I updated a little earlier today, so maybe I'm not on the current build. <laughs> there might have been a build in between. That I'm unsure of. Uh, but, you know, I updated a few hours ago, so... Hopefully we're okay in that regard. Um, I didn't see anything of super importance. Uh, there was something I looked at. Now I forgot what it was. So it couldn't have been too terribly important. But uh, yeah, we're going to start a brand new challenge this evening. I, I, tried to, I tried to split the difference. I tried to find a middle ground between my hard, hard mode world and default worlds that I've been doing. I've been kind of going back and forth with each challenge. This one, I tried to kind of split the difference. It's going to start, well, I guess not really <laughs> default world uh, because of the scenario setting. But, um, yeah, you know, we'll, we'll get into it. You can see uh, some of the important parts from the challenge information in chat. Those uh, here live on Twitch anyway. Uh, YouTubes in the future, as you guys can read the description and see all the same details. Uh, this is the Evolve or Die Challenge. <laughs> Here, I'll read it. I'll read it. Vorm plays a crusty old gym teacher named Patchy O'Hooligan in the weakened reality scenario. Yes, that's a brand new scenario. In this scenario, the borders of reality have weakened significantly and a very strong port and, and very strong portal storms are raging across the world. A side effect of these storms is much faster zombie evolution. Uh, and that I set specifically in the world settings. That's not naturally part of the weakened reality or portal storm setup. Uh, I am just conflating or combining the two effects, uh, you know, because I like the idea. Uh, so yeah, we're saying that the uh, the portal storms are uh, advancing evolution. So eight times faster. I've got it set at uh, 0 0.5 evolution multiplier, and um, that's roughly eight times faster. So 4.0 is the default, and uh, if you go with a lower number, it's faster evolution. If you go with a higher number than 4.0, it's a slower evolution. So... Uh, yeah, Vorm must quickly evolve his skills, his body, and mutations, bionics, martial arts, whatever we can manage in order to try to survive. So, I left it fairly open, open-ended. I didn't pick a specific endpoint goal on this one. Uh, we're going to be investigating the portal storms. Uh, we haven't experienced those yet, so I'm very curious. And this particular scenario, apparently they start out bad and get worse. So, hopefully we'll, we'll get slapped in the face with some portal storm nonsense. Uh, and I wasn't sure how <clears throat> how big of an effect that was going to have on my ability to uh, to advance or to even survive. So since I haven't experienced it before, I didn't want to have that and my normal uh, super hard world settings. So I kind of I kind of made it both. <laughs> it's mostly a default world, with the exception of the faster evolution speed and um, with the portal storms and the evolution speed, we're going to very rapidly run into problems. So it's going to be mainly a question of, can I keep ahead of the pace of evolution? Uh, and I'm not, oh, I don't know. I, I haven't tried this kind of a thing. So this is, uh, this is new. Let's see. Howdy, howdy, everybody in chat. Um, have you seen the cardio changes? Yeah, I mentioned the cardio changes last time. Uh, I haven't actually experienced them much yet, so... The cardio changes are uh, pretty much brand new and going to be fiddled with quite a bit. And I don't know if I'll pay too much specific attention to them. They're subtle enough that I, I don't know if yet if it's worth actually pursuing or worrying about. We'll see. Did new mutagen thresholds get added recently? There are new mutagens. I know there's rabbit and frog and snail. Those are the ones I'm aware of, but I know very little about them. The wiki hasn't been updated with them, um, so I, I, I have no idea really what they add or what, what things they do.
And yes, they fixed the tabbing back to the scenario. <laughs> I think that's one of the ones that I remembered seeing. And I mean, yeah, somebody complained about that at some point in the past. <laughs> no idea if whoever fixed it figured it out or, or knew it was a problem on their own or saw me complaining about it. But whatever. It's all good. So now when you uh, tab back to the scenario tab on the character creation, it doesn't uh, auto-reset you. <laughs> Hope this is a smirt guy. What do you think? Do you think I would have made a smirt guy? <laughs> given, given a scenario that's going to be theoretically high on uh, rapid advancement and uh, CBM installations... Would I have done that? Would I have front-loaded myself into a smirt character? <laughs> Any new settings for portal weather? No, nope, not that I'm aware of, other than choosing the scenario. Okay, well, I think that's enough time for people to show up. Let's go ahead and start diving in. So, new game, preset character... Patchy. Hey there, Patchy. You're going into Evolve or Die. <clears throat> load, load, load. Load, load, load. All right, there he is. Patchy O'Hooligan. <laughs> And yes, I may or may not have um, leaned on a, um, you know, a pop culture reference here. <clears throat> Gently leaned on. Loosely. You don't know, I'll give you a clue. Oh, nope, somebody already got it. <laughs> you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. <laughs> Yeah, we should get wrenches added to the list of things that will help you train dodge. <laughs> Baseballs, basketballs, volleyballs, and wrenches. <laughs> All right, so Patchy Hooligan. Uh, as you can see, we are in the weakened reality scenario. He is a gym teacher, closest I could get. <laughs> there was no dodgeball coaches. In the profession list, so I had to go with. Uh, I went with gym teacher. Uh, oh, I gotta, I gotta switch his age. Uh, how do I change his age? Uh, no, I'm not finished. Uh, I can't remember. Can I change age? I gotta be able to change age, right? Oh, H left, up, down. Uh, uh. How do I get to it? <laughs> it says. Left, right, the, the, oh, oh, there we go, there we go. For some reason, the other key wasn't working. Uh, let's go, I, I don't know how old Patchy was. Let's go, uh, let's be generous. Let's say 60. 55, oh, is 55 the, the max? Oh, max 55. All right, we're going to be 55. <laughs> 55 is what we are. Patchy O'Hooligan. I'll, I'll probably die early. We'll restart and I'll forget to set that back. So somebody yell at me when we're on uh, Patchy the second. Uh, yeah, so uh, strength nine, dex eight, intelligence 12, perception nine. Um, so yes, I am front loading some intelligence and fast reader trait to uh, try to get us ahead of a few things. Uh, parkour expert for proficiencies. We took that as a hobby. Uh, we've got dodging. And it's actually going to be, isn't it going to be higher than this? Because I took... I took dodgeball hobby. I don't know that it's, I think we're gonna get what the skill? I think we get the skill. I don't know, it'll, it'll be something, we'll see. Uh, but dodge, mechanics, athletics, social, and of course, throwing. And on the traits, fast reader, fleet foot, high adrenaline, night vision, robust genetics. I'm going to try really hard to, 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 to fit in some mutations as well as CBMs. We're gonna try to, we're gonna go big. We're gonna go big or we're gonna go home. Uh, I'm going to try, but given the, given the situation with labs <laughs> and such, I don't know. That's why I left this one fairly open-ended. Uh, there's no specific endpoint goal in this one. So I left it open-ended on purpose. 
Um, give me a little more freedom. We'll do a little more of a free form one and we'll just go until we, you know, figure that we've gone as far as we can. Uh, but I want to explore CBMs. I, I'm still not sure that it's an, it's implemented fully enough that I'll be able to do much with CBMs, uh, meaning the um, the Exodii and the, uh, the, the Zomborgs and all that kind of stuff. But we'll give it a try. We'll see if we can get some part of that done because I haven't really touched on it. I've mostly been avoiding those guys. So we're going to try to do some of that. We're going to try to do some mutation stuff. Um, if we can do rabbit or frog, those will be fun. I don't think I want to deal with the snail one, the gastropod one yet. Um, so we'll see. I, I don't know. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. And we're an imperceptive healer, of course. Got to be an imperceptive healer. Uh, no starting bionics. Yeah. So there you go. That's what we've got. So it's the Evolver Die series. Uh, we're, we're investigating portal storms. We're going to start with severe portal storms and they're just going to get worse from there. Uh, we have eight times evolution speed, so the zombies are going to evolve really, really quickly. Uh, I didn't change anything else. We're on uh, otherwise default settings, so 1.0 item drop rate, so there'll be plenty of stuff out there for me. Um, I didn't change that. I didn't bump up the number of zombies or those things. I wanted to investigate the portal storms and the evolution speed to see how much I enjoy the, uh, the combo, and I haven't really done a hyper evolution series in I don't remember the last time I might have done I, I I commonly do like double speed evolution but I haven't done anything on the scale of eight speed evolution so I'm not sure just how quickly things are going to ramp up um, but I'm trying to find a point where I can get it where I can play sort of normal settings in the beginning so new players will see a familiar environment but then as we go through it'll rapidly progress and do just you know a hellscape of Predators and scale jugs and all the other uber nasties. Um, and we'll see if I can actually keep up with it. So <clears throat> that's what we're going to be doing. Where's that scenario from? Never seen it before. It's a brand new scenario. It's in experimental. So if you're updating in experimental, you have it available. But it's uh, it's pretty new. I don't know exactly when it got added in. But um, yeah, you got to be playing experimental and you got to have updated semi recently to uh, to be able to see the weakened reality it's part of the portal storms that just got added a few days ago. But we're going to give it a try. I linked the portal storms PR in the last stream. Um, but I haven't actually experienced it myself yet, so I don't know just how bad it's going to be. Okay. Um, wrench don't bounce. I realize it doesn't bounce. It doesn't have to. <laughs> we're, 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 we're doing an homage. I, I understood that. Uh, I was trying to figure out a way of maybe we could do it if uh, if we had wrench on the list, but it had a side requirement of friendly NPC nearby necessary. So the assumption would be that your friendly NPC is tossing wrenches at you <laughs> while you're dodging. So that was my idea. It would be uh, in order to get dodge practice, the requirements are have wrench and have friend. <laughs> as long as you've got a wrench and a friend, you're allowed to use the uh, wrench to turn up your dodge. And maybe you take damage over time <laughs> while, you're, while you're wrench training your dodge skill. Ah, something like that. Okay. I haven't picked a starting location yet. We, it's just an evac shelter. Actually, I don't... Do I get a start? I think it's evac shelter. Yeah, it's just the evac shelter. So. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> we could get a transcoast logistics diving. I still have not paid much attention to the uh, the small labs that have gone through some changes either. So if I can ramp up our, our power level fast enough, then uh, we'll definitely hit some of those fun places. Um... Is this going to be a big patch? Is it worth to go to Experimental Branch? Uh, if you're not already playing Experimental, I wouldn't do it just for anything you're seeing here. You gotta be prepared for some shenanigans if you move over to Experimental Branch. I have always recommended players play Experimental Branch, even from brand new players, with the caveat that you A, 
know how to back up your save file, which is literally just copy the save folder to a new location. And B, you know how to reinstall a previous version <laughs> so that when something breaks, not if, when something breaks, you have the ability to uh, revert back to your previous build where everything was working and then uh, put your save folder back in and you'll be back where you started without any problems. If you know how to do those two things, I don't really, I've never really seen a, a reason for players to not play an experimental. 99% um, of the chatter you see on Reddit and all the discords are by people playing experimental builds. And, um, I don't know, it's up to you. But, uh, every once in a while something will break, and you just gotta be prepared for that possibility. But, um, yeah, I mean, experimental is where all the fun stuff is. So, if you, if you like fun stuff, play experimental. If you get nervous about fun stuff, and you're at the stage where you, you're carefully shepherding your character along through his third year in the game world, and you're hyper concerned about an update killing your, 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 your favorite little cartoon munchkin, then uh, you might want to avoid the uh, experimental branch. But as a, a, a description, I've been live streaming Cataclysm way too many hours. I'm upwards of 4,000 plus hours. Well, I think I'm upwards of 3,000 something on YouTube now. And I've always played experimental. And I've never lost a run because of uh, an experimental update. There have been occasions where problems have occurred and I've had to... Uh, revert back to an earlier save or avoid updating for a few days while they fixed it and so on but I've got literally a hundred plus challenges on YouTube and I've never lost a run because of uh, shenanigans I think the worst one I had was we had a crash during a save it was saving the world and it crashed and it corrupted my overworld map section that I was in, and I had to drive away from that section to a new overworld map section before everything looked and aligned properly again. I think that was the worst one. That was the Drunk Master Mutant series way, way, way back, and uh, one of my favorite series still. But um, I think that was the worst. Way, well, way, way a long time ago. <laughs> so, I mean, that, there you go. But I do know a lot about the game and how to spot problems and how to work my way around certain issues that may occur using the debug menu. So I kind of shrug off a lot of the little things that uh, bother people. I also tend not to play hype really long series. Uh, mine tend to be get in, play for a month of gameplay, get out. Uh, my challenges tend to be pretty quick because I know the game too well and I can advance a character ridiculously fast uh, depending on my settings. But I'm usually in and out of a game world fairly quickly. It's pretty rare for me to even see day one of summer. Um, so it's not like I'm carrying along a, a long-term character over a year in-game or anything like that. So my situation is a little different. But, um, yeah, I mean, I'm all for experimental. But just be aware of a few things before you jump in. Uh, Quite curious about the new small micro lab things. Yeah, I'll see if we can get into one. They're, I don't know, they're, the, the danger to reward threshold just radically shifted. They're way more dangerous and have way fewer rewards than what we're used to, us old timers. So, either headstrom. All right, let's get this thing rolling. Too much talking, too much talking. Uh, let's see how far in are we. Gameplay starts at uh, 20 minutes <laughs> for the YouTube crowd. I'll save you looking at your own clock. Gameplay starts at 20 minutes. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and start. Random location, one of the evac shelters. Don't care. Well, let's see what the world gives us. This is the exciting part for the live players. All right. Do do. That is us. Patchy O'Hooligan. Let's check our map very first thing. Oh my god, that's a terrible one. <laughs> Man, uh, they really planted that evac shelter outside of town. That's more last man on earth distance. <clears throat> Usually that's a little closer. And we got another town over here kind of buried behind the swamp, which I'm not happy about. There is a uh, radio tower, which if it's uh, free of, you know, those nasty flying stingy bug thingies, uh, we might be able to use to get a full view. That could be very helpful. I wonder if the, uh, the is, is there a portal storm going on? I guess everything's buttoned up. We got all the doors closed, all the windows closed. Two computers are running. Okay. So there you go again for folks jumping forward to the 20 minute mark. There's our character. 
So, yeah, we did end up with uh, four dodge, so I probably had some points wasted there. That's all right. <clears throat> Don't really care. Long ago, stopped worrying about hyper min maxing characters. Ah, we still got our throwing skill, very important. Athletics, mechanics, social, that's pretty much it. I, I purposely did it this way, so I'd be forced to uh, to learn some things. Um, yeah. Check out our gear. We have a smartphone, a baseball. Oh, a baseball and a baseball bat, so I can practice my dodge. <laughs> our dodge is already too high. Uh, I think the practice only takes it to three. Uh, I have the baseball. Oh, we're only... Yeah, we're at four. It'll only take you to two. What about intermediate dodge? I guess this is the only one. All right, that's fine. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, we start with a bat. I tried to find a martial art that used the baseball bat. There are no martial arts that use baseball bats. None. I was disappointed. <laughs> so we're going to have to go some other route. So we use the baseball bat initially. And uh, my hope is to pick up Zui Kwan from a recycling center. That will be one of our main targets to try to upgrade ourselves fairly early. Uh, but even with that plan, I decided not to front load myself with unarmed combat because I wanted to do some more practicing of the practice stuff, the practice skills. So we're going to try to practice some things. Um, yeah, we don't have a lot of choices at the moment. Okay, so it's 8 a.m., it's day 61, start of uh, the, the normal time period. And uh, as mentioned, uh, in our current world, I left the spawn rate the same, I left the item scaling the same. Typically, I double that, I half that. But for this particular challenge, I decided not to. Uh, no random NPCs. And Monster Evolution 0 0.5. Typically, it's number four, and uh, that makes it eight times faster. Um, everything the same except for Wandering Hordes. I went ahead and turned those on. Other than that, we're good to go. How many sort category, sort category? Uh, I don't already have a whistle. Give me a whistle. How does a coach not start with a whistle? <coughs> That's just wrong. Oh, wait. Do I have any kind of carry capacity? We have a runner's pack, 11.6. That's actually pretty good. Okay, we'll grab a couple bottles of water and a couple protein rations and the battery. What else we got? There's a flashlight, more whistles. We'll take a full lighter, that's good. We'll take a flashlight. Leave the rest of that. And the rest of that. And if we can get a first aid kit in the basement, that would be a good start. Another battery, cool. <clears throat> Reload the flashlight. Either Bim Durian. Finally one year. <laughs> Twelve months. First aid kits. No, no first aid kits. Strike out. Come on, 1.0 drop rate. Oh my god, we got none. 1.0 drop rate. I got none. Robbed. Robbed. RNG hates me. No hack pro in the trash can. All right, that's it. Okay, we're not doing uh, NPC stuff in this challenge, so I don't care about the evac shelter. Um, let's peek outside. So how do I know when a portal storm's going on? Right now it's just a light breeze with a light drizzle. <clears throat> So the only thing I know about portal storms is uh, they're bad and you're, you're supposed to stay indoors when they're occurring. That's pretty much the extent of it. Whoa! <laughs> I shouldn't have stepped quite so far out. Ah, oh, they can't see me. Look at this. Three soldiers and two pilots in a helicopter crash right outside the front door. Well, that's interesting. Hmm. Ah, uh, sure. If I've got fast enough movement, I could drag them back and forth over the wreckage. The pilots, at least, I know will take damage. I'm not certain that the soldiers will take damage with the changes that have been made. 
Used to be even soldiers would take damage when they'd step into the wreckage. I'm not sure if that's still the case. It's been a while since I tested or, or paid attention to it. <clears throat> Let's see. Secondarily... Ideally, I'd get one at a time. Uh, let's see here. If I get a single one, we're only going to get one dodge. Because we don't have any martial arts giving us any bonus dodges. And with the changes to the, uh, the dodge system, we're capped at one. It's not going to let us continuously dodge and just reduce our effective like it used to do back when things were silly. And somebody kept demonstrating that fact and got it nerfed. Um... Ah, I have no bashing skill for my bat. I have no melee skill for my bat. So, we're going to be going in skillless. <clears throat> and they may or may not wander off chasing a fox or something. That's another part of the thing I want to avoid is them taking off. Maybe it'd be best to try to get one of the pilots first. Get the pilots, take them out, see if they drop... Something that can help me with the uh, the soldiers. Nope. No martial arts. I purposely did that. I, I, I abstained from uh, piling on the, the weaponry stuff. Because I wanted to start from scratch on that side of it. <clears throat> so, initially I was, I was starting to um, push up my unarmed combat and a little bit of bash. But uh, I, I decided not to. We're just a grumpy gym teacher. Hmm. I don't know how we're going to fare with zero skills against these guys. And when I get too much of their attention, I'm going to have to get out of the evac shelter. So I need to decide if I'm going to do anything here in the evac shelter. We could spend quite a bit of time here, but uh, I want to take advantage of the default game world and get as much done as early as I can. I, I think it would be bad to just sit here for a few days. Now, we're going in pretty blind on the portal storm. I posted the PR for it uh, last on Friday, but I didn't actually read the PR other than just the brief blurb at the top. <clears throat> I'm aware that I think there are some critters that appear in portal storms and... Uh, I don't know what other kinds of effects it has. So I don't know how long they last. Uh, I don't know how often they're going to occur. Um, so this is our, our first experience with it. That's why I took the scenario that was the strongest uh, in the portal storm <laughs> category. I kind of thought you might start with one raging, but uh, apparently not. All right, uh, so we've checked the basement. We've checked uh, uh, the ground floor. Nothing on the roof unless I'm planning on building the initial tools and stuff, but we can go to town to get most of that stuff. Um, so short of leveling up a few of those skills or practicing in the basement, I think I'm just going to go ahead and let's, let's, let's just give it a whirl. Let's, I mean, it's early. We, we've, we have to start again. Ain't no thing. So, um, yeah, let's see if we can uh, get the attention of just one of the pilots if possible so we're at 36 i don't know they're oh there we go we already got the attention of one all right so let's see where's a better place to fight this guy grass is 150 it's gonna be better i think if i lure him down i open this window here fight him in the window bring come over fight him in the window I think I might open these windows here and just fight him in these windows. Hopefully he doesn't uh, smash in the other window. So, we'll see if he goes to that spot. Open that window, that window, and that window to ready. Here he comes. Alright, let's uh, see what happens. So, temperatures are good, encumbrances are awesome. Wow. How are my encumbrance numbers like that? What the hell am I wearing? Tank top? Ankle socks? Briefs? Yeah, that all sounds proper. And the running pack with not much in it. Huh. Cool. That is some streamlined encumbrance right there. 
All right. So, uh, for newer players, the uh, always important to pick your fight, pick your location. So I'm taking advantage of terrain in order to help me in the fight. This is uh, 200 movement cost to move on, which you can see right here when I point at it. So when the zombie sees me, he's going to step into the windowsill or smash the window, you know, because they're rude. But uh, stepping into this position is going to cost some extra points. I'll get a few whacks, then I'll back off and uh, step out to here. He'll come across and we'll do the same thing. And I'll come up here and we'll do the same thing. We'll just repeat until he's dead. That is the plan anyway. All right, here we go. That's perfect. We hit him for 15. We lost the non-violence conduct. We're going to get two swings. And then I'm going to back off. We only got five that time. We're going to go to run mode briefly. Then we're going to wait again. Got it, run mode. Oh, he got a grab off. Ouch. Well, that's not good. I did not need that. Hopefully our nine strength breaks the grab. We failed to break the grab. We broke it the second time, though. All right. Come on up here. We will uh, repeat the process. And we're going to use the bench as well. The bench is also 150. So we've already paid the cost. We're fine. He'll step in. We'll swing, swing. We'll back up. He'll step forward. We'll swing one more time. And then I'm going to come down to another window if he's still, still going. Rude. There we go. 15 point crit and a stun. And a 16 point crit and a stun. Uh, I think I'm still going to back off. Come on, you. Come on. <laughs> He's determined to break the bench instead of moving on to it. There we go. You've completed the achievement. One down, billions to go. Not bad. We got grabbed once. Couldn't really control that part of it. A, an M17 and a holster. <clears throat> Nothing else, unfortunately. I was hoping for something else. Inventory, runner pack, insert, what's in the military ID card. We'll take that and uh, no cash card. Oh, and a pretty good cash card. All right, that's all I want. Smush him. How is the M17? Six rounds of nine mil. That's not, that, that probably not even enough to kill one of <laughs> the soldiers. I don't think the nine mil is going to penetrate enough. So it helped against the, uh, the, the other pilot, but I won't need it against the other pilot. I'm going to go ahead and just leave it right here for now. All right, let's go see if we can get the other pilot's attention. Uh, last time we didn't have to get too much closer. Be right about now. There he is. I'm just gonna follow the exact same steps. This guy's undamaged. The other guy actually started wounded. Let's start from this position. That way I'm closer to where I need to be to uh get away from him. Rude! Uh-oh. Alright, let's get moving. Well, that's not what I wanted. Um, he's going to move into the doorway instead of across. Let's go up. Oh, missed again. So, you can see I'm uh, judiciously using my run speed just to get a couple spaces ahead of him, then I turn it off again. Very, very important to uh, <clears throat> conserve your stamina in combat situations like this. So all I needed was just a couple of steps to get ahead of him to reset. So again, we'll... Whoops. Nope. We'll reset the position. Okay. Where are you? Yeah, we'll just go back and forth right here. There we go. Okay, good battery. An M18. <laughs> and uh, prescription stimulants. 
And pilots, they usually have stimulants. Not much else. Go ahead and take the battery out of the flashlight. Or the radio. <clears throat> and... It's the holster. <laughs> Four rounds again. Much difference here? Not much difference here. <clears throat> One's less recoil, one's a little bit less uh, weight. Otherwise, pretty much identical. So, 10 rounds total, huh? Unload. Uh, that one. What are you doing to me? All right, so we got the M18. Whoops. Trying to compare. Don't watch you, stupid holster. <clears throat> All right, I'm not sure it's gonna be a harder with the uh, with the soldier zombies. So that guy's starting to wander. Any of them damaged? No damage. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna take damage from the uh, scrap metal or the. The wreckage. We're going to give it a try, though. Try with the bat first. And if things don't go well, I'll either just lose him or we'll uh, we'll try out the, the, uh, the pistol. The chance to get a grenade or a rifle is pretty good. All right, this one's going to be a lot rougher. At least we're doing bash damage, which is at low skill better against... Uh, whoops. Um, there's 15. Ouch. So we can do it. I just got to be, you know, cautious about uh, movement points. It's going pretty well, actually. One more. Missed. All right, play it safe. Damn it. <laughs> I thought I had him. Really? God damn it. <laughs> he was down to a quarter of a bar. Uh, four swings later, I'm taking all this damage. Again, I should have played it safe. I was a dumbass. Uh, I thought for sure I could drop him. Hey, we got a grenade. And unfortunately, nothing else. Eh, minor MRE. <laughs> Lamo. All right. Did he have a combat knife? Uh, no, no combat knife.
Yes, combat knife. Do, do, do. Um, debating whether I want to use the gun on one or both of the last two. Really rather not uh, soak up any more damage. Yeah, let's go to the pistol. Oh, all right. If we're going to go to the pistol, let's drop the weapon inside. All right, we'll try to get just one. Yeah, they're not taking any damage from the uh, the wreckage. Okay, 12 away. Let's go um, start aiming here. 66% at 254. He'll get uh, two, maybe three spaces on a precise aim. And that uh, will actually help because then we'll have even better chances. Eh, let's aim manually. Well, I got to 100 pretty quick. Get closer, dude. Yeah, <laughs> six points. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what I figured. Um, and another six. Didn't even move the bar. Well, that was ridiculous. Alright, I didn't gauge that properly. I didn't think he'd be able to get in and hit me before I got the, uh... Before I got the weapon swap done. Should have... Whack the soldier zombie. Ooh, look at that. Weak point. Weak point system is in effect. All right, that's much more less vague. <laughs> I like it. I like when they tell you specifically what sit, what uh, what mechanic or system you just got an advantage out of. So you batter the zombie soldier in an unarmored part of the leg for 22 damage critical. You whack the zombie soldier in an unarmed part of the leg, 14 damage. So this is going to go a lot easier than I was uh, anticipating uh, from previous experience because we now have weak points in uh, a lot of the enemies. I don't know if they've gone through all of them yet or if it's a process that they're still working through. But in the past, all enemies had a flat fixed armor rating and that covered them from the tippy top of their, their head all the way down to their toenail. They just had a flat value. Um, that has now changed and now enemies are going to have weak points. And it's loosely based on what kind of gear they might have. Um, so soldier zombies are going to have really tough chest protection with the sappy vests and so on. Um, but other body parts are much more susceptible. So we, we hit him in the side of his knee, apparently, uh, or a critical spot, and we got bonus crit damage. So it's a big thing. It's a big change. Um, you should be able to do better damage to armored opponents now. I don't think a skell jug. I'm wondering if it's, does a skell jug get? <laughs> does it have unarmored weak points? Uh, do you go for the joints on the skell jugs, or are they still just top to bottom uh, super armor? All right, let's let's play it safe again. Not repeat the mistake I did last time. Oh, he bled to death. Oh, from my bullets. That's what did it. Oh, unfortunately, nothing too fun this time. Don't care about an entrenching tool. Take the chocolate bar. We'll check the wallet. That's pretty much it. Inventory. Runner pack insert. I'll take the cash card. That's pretty much it. Okay. So we still got some uh, deduction from pain. Whoa. Well, hey there, buddy. What brought? Oh, the gunfire brought him over. The gunfire. 
Alright, come get some. Stunned him with a crit, only 6 points of damage. Stunned him with another crit, 19 points of damage. Whacked him in an unarmored part of the leg for 15. Stun. Unfortunately, it also moved him, and he'll be unstunned if I try to advance. So we're going to relocate. Ah, dang it. He's got a few more points than I thought. I thought moving onto the bench would prevent him from also getting a hit in. I was wrong. Another stun crit. Um, another stun. Or or not. Am I mistiming the messages here? We're up to moderate pain. I have no painkillers. Whoops. <laughs> I got a little wacky with the movement rate. 23 crit. Down he goes. All right, so we cleared him out. Um, and we did not get lucky. Dang it. It's hoping to get a rifle. Combat knife. No ID cards. We're not bleeding. We're not. Uh, we're not bit. Nothing like that. Just need to wait out the pain a little bit, and um, I guess that's not too bad. We didn't get as much fun stuff as I was hoping for, though. Very little, actually. <laughs> Very little. A combat knife, some batteries, uh, an MRE, which I could care less about, honestly, and the military card. And that's about it. I don't consider the pistol all that useful either. Anything in the copter? It's looking like no. Some JP-8 fuel. That's pretty much it. Okay. Well, let's, um, let's wait in place for a short bit. Very hungry. Really? Already? It's 8.59. I don't have any traits. Why the hell am I very hungry? No fast metabolism. What? <laughs> it just seems a little weird. 59 minutes into the challenge? You're very hungry. Well, you start like one calorie above overweight, so it's not unusual that I've dropped back to normal weight, but it just seems a little weird. I wonder if that's part of... It wouldn't be part of the cardio stuff. Huh. Well, let's have a cracker and a cookie. And a chocolate bar. And we're back to overweight. <laughs> like I said, you start one calorie into the overweight category, so... Uh, yeah, let's, I don't want to sit around playing in the evac shelter for now. So let's go investigate. Let's see if we can get to the radio tower cleanly and if it's got, uh, nasty stingy fly things. Road roller. Is that worm sign or is that, uh, is that sign of construction? That better not be worm sign. I don't have a tool to uh, pop open the crate. We'll leave it alone. Oh, son of a 
bitch. <laughs> Once again, I can't see the goddamn thing. <laughs> My nemeses. I hate these things so much for exactly this reason. Let's see. Can I get far enough to get the pistol out? I don't know if I'm if I sprint. Can I stay ahead of this thing if I sprint? We're eight away. We are gaining distance. Oh. Like he got a Oh, there we go. We got far enough where we got out of his aggro range. That'll work for me. I don't want to mess with him. So what do you think? That's too far for him to be part of that radio, that radio tower. Even if there are wasps there, he's not part of that. I don't think, anyway. I'm pretty sure they don't go this far out. Love how he's running back to the northwest, though. Okay. Well, that was worrisome. Well, now there's two wasps. So, I'm betting... <laughs> I'm betting yes... But uh, maybe we do have a wasp tower, and they do go this far out. Which, again, I think is completely ridiculous. I love how they're they're gray on the overmap. That doesn't that also doesn't help. That is the you will die wasp, <laughs> but it's just a nice neutral gray until you uh, wander into it, and then all of a sudden it turns red, decloaks, and comes after you. Yeah, that's got to be a wasp tower. We're getting more and more wasps. All right, so we got unlucky with the wasp tower. I wouldn't mind them so much if in their overpowered nonsense, if they weren't in the world in such numbers right at the beginning. Day one, supposedly the cataclysm just hit, <laughs> but we've got these giant mutant wasps all over the game world that'll insta-kill most new players. I don't like it. Put them on the evolution list. Do something with them. But these things are just ridiculous. They have run around right at the beginning. A duck! A duck! It's a witch! Zombie childs! Zombies! Wasps! Are you guys fighting? You are fighting. You are not fighting. You're just looking at each other. Wife's wasp is fighting the zombie dog. All right, let's let a little bit of a uh, little bit of activity going on over there. So the wasps are uh, are taking a little bit of damage. Kill them! Kill them all! Mostly, I'm just kind of curious if I can luck into some free loot. Corpse of a wasp. I think they've got them both killed. Oh, they're just standing around. Alright, what do we see? Can't see very far. Man, I was really, really, really hoping that that would be a radio tower I could access. Would have been so much nicer. Now, we're gonna see... Gonna let me into a few early properties. Cool. Um, whoa, even nicer. Don't care. Don't care. Web design basics. What's a transistor? Coding good. Um, don't care about the rest for now. Tools, please. So we've got a combat knife, so I've got the knives covered. Take a candle, a hammer. Screwdriver. Gotta have a permanent marker. Really? Really? At a kitchen sink? 
We now have drugs at kitchen sinks? Is that brand new? Or have I just not noticed? <laughs> am I... Am I crazy? Is that not new? That seems new. I don't remember getting medical gear in the kitchen. We'll take some cheese, puddings, batter fried fish, probably. All right, I'm not going to carry around too much general food items. In this game world, it should be fairly easy for me to get a hold of some. I'll just grab my specialty foods when they show up. Oh, such good, such good stuff. Sleeveless duster. Hmm. I am, uh, I am pretty clothing deficient. I think a sleeveless duster is in order. I lost the conduct nudist. I wasn't nude previously. <laughs> What's up with that? How can you have the nudist conduct when you've already got clothes on? That makes no sense. Ammonia! Don't care. Don't care. And milk. Butter. Gotta take the butter. Lots of gallon jugs I could load water up in. Shooter's earmuffs. Uh, I guess until I get the earplugs. All right, so this is awesome. We've got a uh, awesome house with it up. I think this is the upstairs and downstairs, right? Isn't there stairs up as well somewhere here? Need to get to that window. Please tell me you have curtains. Yeah, we got upstairs and downstairs. This is like the most primo awesome house to get right at the beginning. Three levels. We've got a safe basement we can go hide in. We've got the upper floors. We're going to get a look around the town. Oh, are we going to get a working solar car to start as well? Perfect. Perfect. No controls. <laughs> so close. So close. Almost. What else we got? Hammer. Don't need any of that. Can't quite see that corner there. Oh, I guess I could. Oh, too much to ask. Get a perfect condition solar vehicle right from the beginning as well. Sleeveless leather trench coat, but not fitted. Let's go ahead and hit the upstairs. More candles, bandages, antiseptic. Now we're talking. Whoops. Already got our lighter situation covered. Sure, we'll take an MP3 player. Mm, what do we got here? Headlamp. I'd take the leather pants if they were fitted. I'm going to hold out for better. Nothing else. Cool. All right. We got the headlamp. Reload. Ah, it'll last plenty long with that. Come on. Hiking backpack or golf bag. <laughs> Not laundry basket. I'd think about taking the leather touring suit again if it was fitted. Heels, heels. Football armor. Ah, I, I always waffle on football armor. It's the average coverage that kills it for me. And the 35 torso encumbrance. <laughs> I just, I can't bring myself to use it. Can't do it. Paramedics. Vinegar Maker's Handbook. What does that actually teach? Food handling needed one. I don't care about food. 
Food is extra super trivial. Did I almost bypass a duffel bag and a leather backpack? Holy mackerel. I almost left those behind. 